dear farmer friends, I Anusha S welcome all of you to your favorite TV program Krishi Darshan. As you all know, rice is the staple food crop for more than half of the world's population. In India, rice is grown in an area of 44 million hectare with a production of 106 million tons. Out of the total water available for agriculture, more than 60 percent is utilized only for rice production. With emerging water scarcity, the traditional lowland rice cultivation can no longer be sustained. Today, we have invited a panel of experts to guide our farmer friends on aerobic rice cultivation where farmers get higher rice yield with less water. Experts of our today's program are Dr. Ankita Sahu, Director, National Rice Research Institute, Hyderabad. She is expert in aerobic rice cultivation. She has 12 years experience in aerobic rice cultivation and she is the pioneer in developing package of practice for aerobic rice cultivation. Next expert is Dr. Anupamba, Head, Division of Genetics and Plant Breeding, IRA, New Delhi. He is a renowned rice breeder and has developed many rice varieties especially for aerobic situation. Next expert is Dr. Anirban Paul. He is a principal scientist in National Center for Integrated Pest Management, New Delhi. He has years of experience in the field of disease and wheat management in aerobic rice. Our next expert is Dr. Pramod Reddy. He is a principal scientist in Central Institute of Agricultural Engineering, Bhopal. He has 10 years experience in the field of farm mechanization. He has national and international patents on farm machines. Next, we have Dr. Arvind Pillai. He is senior scientist agronomy from Indian Agriculture Research Institute, New Delhi. He is specialized in water and nutrient management in aerobic rice. And lastly, we have Dr. Ankit Deep, who is a principal scientist in Central Institute of Post Harvest Engineering and Technology, Ludhiana. He has 10 years of experience in his field of specialization and he has developed post harvest technology for aerobic rice. Dear friends, with emerging water scarcity, the traditional way of lowland rice cultivation can no longer be sustained. Here comes the importance of aerobic rice cultivation where farmers can reduce the water use in rice cultivation which will increase the water use efficiency. Dr. Ankita, could you please explain what is aerobic rice cultivation and in India, which are the areas suitable for aerobic rice cultivation? Yes, Dr. Anusha. Aerobic rice cultivation is a production system in which specially developed aerobic rice varieties are grown in well-drained, non-puddled and non-saturated soils. In India, aerobic rice cultivation is done in uplands. These lands are flat and soil water content is close to field capacity. Rain-fed lowlands. Soils in these areas are relatively coarse textured and well-drained so that ponding of water occurs only for a small period of time. And finally, the irrigated lowlands. These are the areas where farmers have access to sufficient water to keep the rice fields flooded for a substantial period of time. In India, the suitable areas are Tamil Nadu, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, parts of Bihar, Odisha, Karnataka and Eastern Uttar Pradesh. Thank you Dr. Ankita for your valuable information. I hope our viewers got an overview about aerobic rice cultivation. Dr. Pramod, could you please explain what are the process involved in field preparation and mechanization in case of aerobic rice cultivation? Yes, Dr. Anusha. In case of aerobic rice, there is no requirement of puddling and transplantation. It also requires lower irrigation, which reduces the labor uses more than 50% as compared to irrigated rice. Land preparation typically involves uh, plowing, harrowing and leveling of the field. And the implements used for land uh, mechanization, mechanization are uh, uh, power tiller, mold board plow, rotavator, disc harrow and combined harvest. Thank you Dr. Pramod for your suggestion. Dr. Anupam, what are the suitable varieties and seed rate and spacing followed in case of aerobic rice cultivation? Yes, Dr. Anusha, you have asked very relevant question. The aerobic rice is grown directly in the feed without any nursery preparation. The aerobic rice seed rate is 60 to 80 kg per hectare with square planting at 20 to 25 centimeter spacing. 
Major rice varieties grown in India for aerobic rice are CR Dhan 200, CR Dhan 201, CR Dhan 203, CR Dhan 204 and CR Dhan 205. The average yield of these varieties ranges from 3.5 ton to 4 ton per hectare and two other varieties are released for aerobic condition are MAS 26 and MAS 9461. Thank you Dr. Anupam, that was a valuable information. Dr. Arvind, could you please explain about the irrigation and nutrient management in case of aerobic rice? Sure, Dr. Anisha. The irrigation is applied by flash flooding, furrow irrigation or sprinkler. The amount of irrigation is enough to maintain the soil moisture condition at field capacity. Some visible sign that the soil moisture below the field capacity are the crack line soil in the soil and uh, rolling over the tip of the leaves. Regarding the nutrient management, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium is applied at the rate of 100, 60 and 40 kg per hectare. The nitrogen is applied in three splits. The first split is applied 10 to 12 days after the seedling emergence to minimize the nitrogen loss from leaching. The second split is applied at the active tillering stage and the third is at panicle initiation. At the time of sowing, the zinc sulphate is also applied at the rate of 20 kg per hectare. Thank you, Dr. Aravind. Dr. Anirban, could you brief us about weed and disease management in case of aerobic rice? Sure. Dear farmers, we all know that weed is the major problem of aerobic rice cultivation. So, aerobic rice cultivation is primarily focused on the efficient management of weeds. For this, regular chlor with safe nut is used 3 days after sowing, followed by a hand wedding 35th day after sowing, which can by doing this, we can easily control all the weeds. Regarding pest management, rice are susceptible to different diseases like rice blast, which can be easily controlled by using tricyclozol at the rate of 1 gram per liter. Generally, we can use different neem products, which are having insecticidal properties, which can control different insects. Thank you, Dr. Anirban. Finally, Dr. Ankit. Could you enlighten us on harvesting and storage of aerobic rice cultivation? Yes, Dr. Anusha. Harvesting is the process of collecting mature rice crops from the fields. Harvesting process majorly consists of activities like cutting, stacking, handling, threshing, cleaning and then finally hauling. These activities can be done singly or by using combined harvester when the grain moisture content is between 20 to 25 percent wet basis. The grain should be firm and not brittle when squeezed between the teeth. Now, regarding storage, grains are stored in 40 to 80 kg bags made up of jute or either woven plastic. The stack height for jute bag should not be more than 4 meters and for plastic bag it should be not more than 3 meters because plastic bags are slippery and hence the stack will not be more stable. And uh, regarding the spacing, there should be a minimum of 1 meter space between stacks and around the stacks and also there should be 1.5 meter gap between the top of stack and the roof for easy fumigation. Thank you Dr. Ankit. I hope our farmers will surely take the advantage of the valuable information provided. Finally, I would like to thank Dr. Ankita, Dr. Anupam, Dr. Anirban, Dr. Pramod, Dr. Arvind and Dr. Ankit Deep for your valuable advice. Well viewers, truly speaking, the potential of this profitable technology is yet to exploit and yet to reach our small farmers. I hope Today's program will surely benefit our viewers, especially small farmers. For further details, you can contact with us, Krishidarshan, PO Box number 840, ICR NAM, Rajendra Nagar, Hyderabad, 500030, Telangana. You can write to us, our email address is krishidarshan at gmail.com. You can also call in our toll free number, the number is 188. 000 I repeat, one double eight triple zero double eight double zero. That's all for today. I hope we will surely meet next week in the same program, but with a different topic at the same time. Namaste, Jai Hind. <laughs>